Good evening, friends. Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, there's some great, great messages, videos that we have posted. Uh, you're going to get one from my wife over on Odyssey. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to go into this. You can see the title for yourself. I'm really hesitant to even say that here on uh, the program here on YT because, you know, censorship can get you a lot in trouble real quick. Like, but anyway, Odyssey, it is uh, pretty much, it's there. It, you need to subscribe. Is uh, odyssey.com forward slash the at sign Israeli News Live colon and the letter A. That'll get you right to Yana's channel. I'll put a link in the description below for you here. Uh, but listen, Patreon, and I don't know if it's going to be up before this video, about a half hour teaching on there slash Planet X. Yeah, believe it or not, Planet X. And uh, I have found some amazing prophecies that back it up. Jesus clearly identified it coming. Uh, Jeremiah identifies it. The book of Revelation identifies this all happening. And then on top of it, I'm talking about uh, not this image here. A good brother sent that. They took several years ago over there uh, in the mountains there uh, of uh, North Carolina. Don't know, know exactly what the images were, but very fascinating. But, uh, but I'm talking about, uh, let me just see. I'll try to give you a little sneak peek here. Uh, Sister Kim out of Australia just, and I don't have it up there right now, she sent me an amazing photograph nighttime and it is obviously some kind of object about a third of the size of the moon and it ain't normal. All right, let's just say it, it ain't normal. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you, friends, uh, and I've gotten other people that are sending, inf uh, sending images as well. Um, Brother Michael has, there's another Brother Rodriguez uh, that's sending images as well now. Uh, daytime, evening time, something's going on, and it does biblically line up. So besides what my wife did here, we're talking about biblically these things are going on. Now, part of what my wife speaks about here, we can speak here at the Jerusalem Post. ex Mossad chief says the Israeli government has let in the KKK mentality. Pardo said that Netanyahu has aligned himself with racist and horrible parties that his political positions are not far from them. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty brash coming out of Israel there. But anyway, the Mossad director, Tamir Pardo, on Thursday framed the government's ongoing judicial overhaul along with actions by some of the more extreme ministers as a process with parallels to the Ku Klux Klan in an interview with Khan Radio. He said Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had taken the Ku Klux Klan and brought them into the government, equating ministers Idmar Begevir and uh, Batalel Smotrich and others with that organization. So, very serious situation. Uh, he, he goes on and says, Pardo noted that the Smotrich had called for the burning down the Palestinian village of Huara. Uh, how would this come about, he asked rhetorically. Likud was established as a liberal party. Look at Mahal and look at Smotrik and Ben Gavir, he warned. You know, Pardo said that Netanyahu has aligned himself with racist and horrible parties, that his political positions are not far from them. You know, I mean, you got to think about it, guys. Think about what this man is saying and then think about who's aligning themselves with him. Netanyahu, that is. What leaders align themselves and support this overhaul, judicial overhaul, as a good thing? Oh my gosh, what a total, total mess. Um, also, uh, Robert Kennedy. Um, I, I have, Robert Kennedy has really kind of disappointed me uh, in his stand as well. But uh, he did bring out a very important issue here. Since the assassination of my father in 1968, candidates for presidents have provided Secret Service protection, but not me. He's a candidate for president, and he still is not, 88 days later, been given the protection that he d does deserve as running for president of the United States. That is a gross shame for what's happening uh, in, in this system here. Also, AP is reporting the U.S. has announced $345 million, million in military aid package for Taiwan. 
Well, guess what? That must mean that Taiwan is about to be in a deep battle with China. And so we're going to fund another war while we're at it. Forget everything else. We're going to make sure Taiwan gets a bunch of money uh, for weapons and things of that nature there. It says the White House analysis said the package would include defense education and training for the Taiwanese. Washington will send manned portable air defense systems, manned pads, intelligence and surveillance capabilities, firearms and missiles, according to the U.S. officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss the sensitive matters ahead of the announcement. Bad enough we're already trying to create a war that's going to drag us into a war with Russia. Well, let's just go ahead and drag in one with China as well, right? Might as well. What do you know? Douglas McGregor. I want you to listen a little bit of what he has to say here about the situation of Poland. Uh, NATO members are now openly discussing war plans against Russia. Poland has indicated they are going to enter Ukraine regardless of what the NATO alliance says. We are on the path to war and we are in the hands of a man, Joe Biden is talking about, who is not entirely stable. I've been telling you that for a long time. Poland, we've already sent so much military aid to Poland, not just the United States, but other NATO countries, that they have become the fourth largest military power in the world. They had already planned on using Poland to do this. Not only that, Poland is planning on taking half of Ukraine for itself. I told you that. Gosh, what, almost a year ago. All of it now starting to come out. Let's take a look here. Russians are watching to see what comes out of it. And thus far, we have a couple of things. First of all, we haven't said, no, Ukraine cannot join NATO. What we've said, actually, is that the two-step process is now going to become a one-step process. Uh, of course, with the caveat that you can then join when the war is over. The second part, though, is very, very important. And that is that the members are now supposedly openly discussing war plans against Russia. Now, this this kind of thing is extremely sensitive, as you can imagine. Yeah. You can imagine the impact on Moscow. Uh, thus far, Putin has held 300,000 troops in reserve, you know, hoping that he doesn't have to commit them because he's always worried about NATO intervention. And at the same time, you have the Poles and Lithuanians who are saying, well, we're going to go in regardless of what the NATO alliance says. And if we go in, we're not really going to drag NATO with us. The problem with that, of course, is that they're part of NATO. And if they do go in, the Russians will treat them as a NATO Trojan horse and they will attack. Mm -hmm. So we're really on the path to war. And I think we ought to start asking some hard questions of this man who's 80 years old, who has try trouble finding his way off the stage, about what he's actually doing. I mean, we're in the hands of a man who is not entirely mentally stable. Russians are watching. We got it. See. There you go. You got it right there. And of course, doesn't seem like it wouldn't really matter who you put in the office there. I, I did a, uh, an exclusive video there on Patreon a little while back about Trump coming into power again, that he will come back into power, what their plans are, why they're going to do it, etc. And that's not going to be a good thing either. Uh, but certainly Biden. And in fact, in that video, that's where I talk about there would be dirt that is going to come up on Biden that's going to cause this to even happen. And then we had that come out already as well. Hunter and uh, Joe Biden taking uh, allegedly a $10 million bribe. Uh, yeah, so the dirt's already starting to surface, just like we reported there on our Patreon channel. Uh, you definitely want to subscribe to Patreon, especially in light of this video we just loaded today, or loading as we speak right now. Uh, amazing, amazing information over on our Patreon channel. Uh, is forward slash Israeli News Live. So I hope you uh, check that out. And uh, But anyway, there's so much that is going on. So much is happening in the world. Hard to keep up with all of this. And uh, But we're doing our best we can to share that information with you and get you educated as rapidly as we possibly can. So thank you for listening and God bless you and have a great evening.